that is Shocker Armor, but I have never met him. I wanted him back so I can see how it feels to have a dad. When my family talks about him, I use my imagination to see him. When I sleep, I think of him. When I eat and drink, I think of him. It is very hard to be patient and to bring the smile on our faces. Please, brothers and sisters, for 10 years is a long time. Sign the petition for my dad's release, for he has been unjustly hurt. My dad has been kept in torture severely in the prison of Guantanamo Bay for 10 years. He has been cleared for release. There are no charges against him. My father has been in prison for 10 years. He's tortured all this time. You can imagine how we feel, but you can't feel what we go through. Each time they tell us he's coming back, but they lie and they don't let him come home. I have lost my trust in them, but I trust our law. My brothers and my sisters. We can go back into history and help the Muslims of the past, whether it was the companions of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whether it was Abu Hanifa, whether it was Imam Malik, whether it was Imam Shafi'i, whether it was Imam Ahmad, whether it was Imam Al-Bukhari, whether it was Imam Muslim, whether it was Salahuddin or Nuruddin, they were tested. Some were imprisoned and they were imprisoned for years and years. Today, today, your actions and my actions are saying that we don't care about the Muslims around the world. Why? Because many Muslims are imprisoned and you and I have forgot about them. Didn't the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say that the Ummah is like one body? If one limb is in pain, then the entire body is in pain. The there was the likes of Mu'tasim, there was the likes of Salahuddin, there was the likes of Nuruddin. They understood the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he said that the entire Ummah is like one body. If one limb is, is in pain, then the entire body is in pain. These Muslims, they understood this hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is what you call soldiers. This is what you call commanders. This is what you call leaders. Today, today your brother and my brother, Shakir Ahmer, for the past 10 years is in Guantanamo Bay, treated like an animal, chained up, dressed all in orange, treated worse than an animal, my brothers. And you and I see at home doing nothing. Doing nothing. He's someone's father, someone's, father, someone's child, child, someone's brother, brother someone's husband. husband. My brothers for 10 years, ten years banged up, cleared for release in 2007. Four children. He hasn't even seen the youngest one. In 2002, he was thrown in this prison. And the Muslim for 10 years, for 10 years forgot about him. Tell me, what do you think his wife is going through? Tell me, what do you think his kids are going through? Tell me, what do you think his mother, his father are going through? His 12 years old daughter could write to the president and say release her father. And you and I can't even sign a petition that will only take two minutes. Oh Muslims, Muslims. we need 100,000 signatures. Never mind 100,000. Let's make it 200,000. Love for your brother what you love for yourself. My brothers and my sisters, let's help this brother and sign the petition. Do it for Allah's sake because it could be possible. The one signature that you make, it could be possible Allah the Almighty will overlook your bad deeds and give you Jannah. There is no reason for my father to be in prison. There have never been any charges made against him and he is innocent. My father has suffered for eight years in prison for no reason. I hope there can be a change now. He has got so many illnesses such as asthma and many physical problems. He is the only British resident there. Take that you understand this as a father and a husband. Nobody would like to be separated from their fathers or mothers. It is nowhere near fun to be without a father. He hasn't done any crime. This photo is of Shakramir. But I tell you, this photo was taken on Eid Day. Thanks to God that I managed to take this photo. And little did we know this photo can come in hand now. If we never had this photo, we probably had nothing of him.